and welcome to Woodbridge, the best town around. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of this great town, and we're here today for the unveiling of the plaque that will be located at the Avenel Performing Arts Center from now until eternity. And it's got all the names of all the people involved, but it couldn't have everybody, and everybody really that did anything is here. So I want to just take the time to thank everybody first. We're in the theater part. Uh, curtains is right over there. The theater is right over there. Uh, this has been a very good success so far. Um, the theater started slow, is really picking up, especially with the show this last seven days. Uh, the restaurant started strong, started getting a little slow uh, with the <laughs> kitchen, but we're working on that. But overall, I would say that we're, what, two, ten weeks in, eleven weeks in, and this has been surprising and better than we thought overall. So we are very, very thrilled with what's happening here. Uh, to my right is lady behind the whole idea to have this theater here, Carolyn Ehrlich. To her right behind him is the executive and artistic director and star of the show that's going on now, which is getting over 100 people a night. Uh, Anthony Wilkinson, to his right is Vito Samaluka, the director of recreation. The four of us, I'd say, for the past two years have met at least monthly. I'm not in all the meetings, they're in more than me, but the four of us have been, you know, steady on everything to do with this building. It's been so much fun because the end product is so terrific. Uh, to his right is Glenn Slavin. He is on the board of the Woodbridge Arts Alliance. To his right, Patrick Muller is also on the board. To my left is Alan Shaw. He is the developer from Atlantic Realty. Behind him is Greg Ficarra, councilman at large. Uh, to his left, who's got the phone on? I told everybody. No, I didn't tell anybody. Uh, Corey Spiller, the usually council you. president who lives here, yeah, usually me, seven <laughs> houses from here, and he has been, I'm going to ask Corey to speak in a minute, uh, he's been instrumental uh, before Corey was even a councilman. We sat down in his uh, living room uh, with him and his wife and some friends, and we talked about the project, and if I could convince Corey, who had three little kids at the time, that we were doing the right thing and tearing down an abandoned chemical factory and putting in apartments with an arts theater and a restaurant, he was the guy to convince. We convinced him he became the biggest advocate for this project and remain so today. To his left is Councilman Brian Small, and to his left is uh, Assistant Recreation Director and current Board of Ed member uh, Brian Molnar. So let me start with Councilman Spiller and ask him just to say a few words. I know you are as excited as I am with this project the last 11 weeks. It's been terrific. Corey, you want to say a few words? Thank you, Mayor. Um, my, myself, my family, my friends, my neighbors, we're completely thrilled with this project. Uh, everyone knows what this was. Um, yourself, Mayor, Carol, you promised something perfect here, and I said it a couple months ago. I can't thank Alan and his team. Um, like I said, I'm seven houses away, so I find myself walking to curtains quite often. So um, we were in, had the show Friday. Anthony, the shows have just been fantastic. Uh, you know, and I always say it, you know, to live here my entire life, see what it was, see what it is. You know, it gets emotional. It's just such a Great, fantastic thing for Avenel and the entire township and the, the entire area because we got people coming from all over New York City uh, seeing our fantastic shows going to our restaurant. So thanks again. Okay, Thank pal. Uh, Anthony, the executive and artistic director, you want to say a few words about uh, your thoughts so far after 11 weeks? Oh, my God. This has been an overwhelming experience. I can't believe um, how this has come to fruition in such a great way. Um, I, I'm very overwhelmed. I'm still very touched to be a part of this. I'm so happy that the mayor and Carol and Vito found me uh, in New York a few years ago and asked me to come join this roller coaster ride. It has been so exciting and I'm just loving watching the people come and get to know the people and see what they really like and it's just fun to entertain everybody and this is really great. All right. Carol, you didn't want to speak? No. Okay. <laughs> Carol, <laughs> Carol spoke at the opening. She wouldn't let me speak at the opening, and she spoke for a while, so she gave her piece there. Vito, you want to say any, a sure. few words? Absolutely. I just want to thank the, uh, the, the group here, Carol and Anthony and the mayor, for making me part of this. This has been absolutely fantastic. It's been a fantastic experience um, meeting here every week with Alan and his crew and just picking out all the little things. Everything you see here, the mayor, Carol, Anthony, myself, and the crew, along with uh, Alan's crew, it, I, we touched everything. So uh, we hope you like it. We hope the community likes it. I think it's a great opportunity for Woodbridge Township, for Avenel especially, to bring people out and uh, experience this. It's just absolutely fantastic. And Anthony and the restaurant uh, are, are bringing that. Anthony's bringing it with the shows, and the restaurant's bringing it with the food and the drink. And it's just a fantastic experience, not only for, for couples. We got music in the, in the restaurant every night. Uh, but not only for couples, but for families. It's a great experience, so we invite everybody out to take part in it. Thanks again. Glenn, do you want to speak as a member of the board? 
Mayor, we're just thrilled to be supportive and we're very thrilled to be invited uh, to participate. It's a wonderful thing for the community and for the township at large. Thank you. Great. We have a lot of people that work for the uh, township regarding this operation. Uh, Taylor Freeman, Brad Saruk, uh, don't, sorry, I forget your last, how do you pronounce your last name, um, where I saw Christina's here. Uh, who else is here from the effort that works here, that works for the, uh, oh, that's it? Okay, so other people in the audience, we have uh, Sam, who works with Alan uh, on the project. We have Nicolette from the town, Megan from the town, Beth, Lee, Sammy, Marta Levsky, our di the planning director, Hank Hodocker is the director of redevelopment. Melissa. Huh, sorry? Melissa from Minnow. I'm glad we to get there. Um, John Cook, Pam, Dennis, Tommy Kelly. We would not have been open without the efforts of people like Tommy Kelly and, and Chris Costi and the public works guys who came in with a few days to go. Uh, and we were in, in jeopardy of not opening by April 10th when we had our first show booked. And they came in the last several days and just blew through this place and cleaned it all up and did a fantastic job. Heather, who's Carol's assistant, uh, Sparky, Chris Costi, Rich Duda, Paul Losick, Casey Wagner, all the people in the audience here who work for the town. Uh, Minnewasco has put uh, uh, Melissa from Minnewasco. Melissa from Minnewasco. Let me That's do that. Times See fast. that times fast. <laughs> uh, uh, our library director. Um, we have Joe um, Joe Nisky, our deputy police director. We have Nick in the back there. We have John Haggerty. Everybody touched this building in some way to make it the success it is. And like I said, we, there's growing pains with any restaurant, there's growing pains with any theater, but I would say after 11 weeks, we have done a, a pretty good job. Uh, the people who work in this place and who run this place have done a very good job to get us where we are. And I just see this being an amazing asset for the township of Woodbridge for a long, long time. Uh, Joe mentioned that we said when we started, do you realize that we spent about $2 million of our money and we got a million dollars of developer contribution and six million dollars from the county. So for two million bucks, we own a nine million dollar facility, which is a pretty good return on investment uh, for anybody to, to put two million dollars of our money up to own something worth nine. So I also should really thank the county of Middlesex, although there's nobody here today. They have a very, a very, very busy schedule. Uh, Ron Rios, the freeholder director, and the other six freeholders have been amazing supporters going way back when they pledged six million dollars from their funds. Uh, from their budgets toward this project. <laughs> they really believed in us and it paid off. Now I'd like to ask Al if you want to say a few words on behalf of uh, Atlantic Realty. Sure. Uh, as always, I've said in the past, it's wonderful to be partners with the Township of Woodbridge, uh, the Mayor, Carol, Vito, everyone involved here. I'd like to thank my team, Sam, Tech, and everyone else involved. It really was a labor of love. It was definitely a nice challenge. Uh, I'll admit it's the first uh, art center and restaurant that I've personally built. <laughs> Certainly learned a lot. We know a lot about the many custom items that are in this building, but uh, it really was a pleasure. I'd like to thank the building department as well, the planning department, the engineering, really working in this town and not just in this building, but the whole development and whatever else we have got going on in the town. It really always is a pleasure. They understand it. They understand development and moving things forward. So again, thank you everything for everything. All right, he said Sam and Tech. Sam's over there, Tech's back there. Tech's actually a person. I want to make sure you know that. <laughs> when he said Sam in tech, Sam's last name is not in tech. There is a man named Tech who was a day to day guy here. Where are you, Tech? I just saw him. Where'd he go? Probably hiding. Probably hiding. Yeah. Years, yeah. Anyway, but everybody here had a, a, has become a part of this and it's been great. So let's now unveil the plaque. Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> Avenel Performing Arts Center grand opening and ribbon cutting April 10th, 2019. Mayor Johnny McCormick, Municipal Council Corey Spiller, Council President, Lizbeth DeJesus, Vice President, Nancy Drum, Virbhadra, Viru Patel, Kyle Anderson, Howie Bauer, Debbie Meehan, Greg Ficarra, Brian Small, Council People, Township Administration, Carolyn Ehrlich, Executive Director of Redevelopment Agency, Vito Samaluka, Director of Recreation, Arts and Resident Services, Anthony Wilkinson, Executive and Artistic Director, John Bennett, Business Administrator, John Mitch, Municipal Clerk, Marta Darden, Director of Planning and Development, Tom Kelly, Construction Official, Heather Lamont Redevelopment Agency. Special thanks, County of Middlesex Freeholders, Woodbridge Arts Alliance, Atlantic Realty Development Corp., Minnow and Wasco Architects and Planners, and Stage Consultants, LLC. That's the team that put this together. So congratulations and thank you. So as the mayor of Woodbridge, I get a lot of credit when things go good. 
Um, but I run a team. And just like any head of any organization, any professional team, any business team, any political team, uh, there's so many people that work so hard that I get the credit for. In this case, this building, this vision was Carolyn Ehrlich's 10 years ago, when we fixed, actually 12 years ago, when we first came here and started talking about what to do about general dynamics. It was old, it was ugly, it was an eyesore, it was just a terrible blight on the neighborhood. It did not help property values in Avenel. Uh, it was just, frankly, terrible. Mayors before us had tried to do things about this, but never could. In fact, when uh, Jim McGreevy came to town one day, he said, congratulations, 10 years he was mayor. He never got this done. He always regretted it. Uh, but now it is done. But this was the vision of Carol Ehrlich, who um, reads everything, researches everything, and started saying, you know, a lot of towns are turning uh, blighted areas into art centers. So when we decided to make this apartments, I'll tell the story over and over again, we didn't want to make it a Costco with all the traffic that would have brought. We didn't want to make an office building with people looking down into your back windows. Uh, we didn't want to make it a warehouse with trucks coming everywhere, so we decided to make it apartments. That gave us the highest level of cleanup possible. That meant you couldn't just cap the dirt that was contaminated. You had to take it out and remove it, replace it, and do a major cleanup to get no deed restrictions, and that's what we wanted. There's people in the neighborhood that have had wells in their front yard for the last 40 years. Slowly, those wells are going away, believe it or not, after only a few years. So it's terrific what's happening here. But this was Carol's idea to do an art center here. It was her vision. And she worked on this. This was her baby, and she's been rocking it for 12 years. And I just thought, the day of the uh, dedication, she presented me, Vito, Anthony, and Alan with these beautiful um, artistic uh, creations with their names on it and talked about the dates and the dedication and all that for all that we did. But it was her idea, and it was her vision. And so I just thought it would be appropriate today to dedicate this plaque uh, to Carolyn Ehrlich. In her speech that day, these are her words in that speech on April 10th, this will be an arch district, a transit village, a downtown. When the factory closed, they left us with empty buildings, contaminated soil, and a hole in the heart of the town of Evanel. But they also left us with a wonderful opportunity to create something new, a new place, a new center for the people of Avenel. They're your words, so congratulations. <laughs> So, at, um, I gotta stop crying. I'm really <laughs> overwhelmed. So, at um, the grand opening, when I gave the guys their little plat trophies, whatever you wanna call them, I said to myself, they're gonna get revenge. <laughs> there, there was no doubt in my mind because it was a surprise, and I actually, I don't keep secrets well, and I actually did surprise them. So, when I got the email that there was gonna be a dedication, I'm like, why? We just got everybody out there. It's kind of redundant. And John was probably like, hey, there she goes, you know? And then this morning, I'm thinking to myself, well, maybe they're going to give you something because you gave them something. And, but I kept saying one of my mottos is, nah, it's not about you. <laughs> it's not about you. And um, so it, it, it is really a surprise. And this is beyond anything that I could have imagined. I have to find out who the artist is. This is great. It is a piece of Heather, art. Heather designed it. Of course <laughs> Heather did. <laughs> of course it didn't help that when Carol walked in, Elroy said, oh, your daughter's here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of, then I really had a feeling. <laughs> but this is Carol's daughter, Kim, and Carol's granddaughter, Molly. And so this has been a dream of mine, and um, dreams don't always come true unless you have a truly remarkable team behind you. Truly remarkable, and the team becomes friends and, and family, too. So uh, this hopefully will be a dream come true for everybody in Avenel, everybody throughout Woodbridge, and for everybody throughout the state. So thank you very much. Thank you, John.